Some call me nature. Others call me mother nature. I've been here for over four and a half billion years. 22,500 times longer than you. I don't really need people, but people need me. Yes, your future depends on me. When I thrive, you thrive. When I falter, you falter. Or worse. But I've been here for eons. I have fed species greater than you, and I have starved species greater than you. My oceans. My soil. My flowing streams. My forests. They all can take you. Or leave you. How you choose to live each day, whether you regard or disregard me, doesn't really matter to me. One way or the other. Your actions will determine your fate, not mine. I am nature. I will go on. I am prepared to evolve. Are you? Wow, are we? I think we are. I think at least, uh, you know, revolution starts with a small group of people and I think we're a very determined group of people who've been here the last few days. So let us start with us. So... We're wrapping up. We're wrapping up. It feels incredible. These two days just flew by. Yes. It was such a long journey when we started yesterday morning and now we're at the other end of this year's bridge. In incredible, right? Yeah. So, um, today is referendum day. It is. Should we have referendum? I, th I think, uh, you know, the, there's a Brexit referendum or Bremen referendum. Some people think that's about Br Britain. It's not. It's about the bridge, of course. <laughs> so we should do our own, very own Brexit Bremen referendum. And we invite you, as the Swiss do, you know, in the canton of Appenzell, when they, where they invented referendums. You stand up and you say I to the suggestion that you like the most. And for those of you who are standing all the time, you need to sort of stand up extra so we can count your votes. Little jump would be nice. Yeah, a little jump. And we're going to give you free solutions, like in the most famous Swedish referendum of all time on nuclear. But these are, these are mutually exclusive. So you get to vote, is it Brexit, the bridge never again? Or is it remain, let's have the bridge every year? Or is it remain, but let's do it biannually, every other year, every two years we should have a bridge conference. Do you get the alternatives? So first, let's first start with the no vote. You get to say I anyway. So if you think that the bridge never again, you're supposed to stand up now and say I. Maybe they didn't understand me, am I not clear enough? They're sitting down over there. They're sitting down, they're, they're, they're hiding just to make sure we're not counting them. <laughs> okay, so the vote is concluded on that one. Second alternative, we go, yes, there should be a remain, we should have a bridge every year. Stand up now and say aye if that's what you propose. Aye. Aye, we need okay, you, the best counter we've found yeah, out. Yeah, mathematical. You're done? Yeah, I'm done. Okay, good, you're quick. Okay, so the, and then the third option for the sort of uh, in between wishy-washy people. <laughs> uh, the remain, but every other year is just about right. Stand up and say aye, those who think so. The count is done? The count is done. 73% to the bridge comes back next year and every year after that. Wow! <laughs> I've been at several of the United Nations conferences and then they say, and so it is decided. And of course, I don't get to decide, but I love to say that. <laughs> but I, I think we sent a powerful message throughout these two days and the last two minutes as well. I think we will. And then just before we leave up, I would like to ask a question to you. To me? Because you didn't get to vote. Yeah. That's right. Yeah. That's right. I voted zero. So you've been a politician and now you run a think tank. And obviously to get some of all this stuff to happen, we need politicians to buy into that. What do you think is the way to do that? 
That's a great question. Uh, I'll, I'll give a threefold answer, quick, but in, in three points. First of all, uh, strive to have some sort of continuous dialogue with the decision makers, the policy makers, the politicians. And continuous dialogue doesn't mean that you have to be there all the time, but it means that you're not just running when you have an urgent problem. Send an email once in a while, make sure you invite them, make sure that, that you understand them better. Second is to try and help the politicians deliver on their promises. You mean uh, politicians are also people? They're also people. I was a politician uh, and, and for six years nobody came to me and said, Matthias, we know that you promised this in the elections. We know that your party program says this. We read your article, you said that. We know that you're struggling to live, deliver. We know how you can do that. And these two days, we've seen so many things that the politicians came up with. The Paris Agreement, the 17 Global Sustainable Development Goals, and actually what we're doing, all of us, is trying to help politicians deliver on those promises. And if we frame it that way, you will have the politicians very big ears. Uh, so we just need to make them sure when we can show, make sure they know. Make sure they know that we're helping them out. And thirdly, walk, if not a mile, walk a little bit in a politician's shoes. Try and put your, yourself in their position. Uh, by maybe you just go into the uh, website of the National Political Forum, like the riksdagen.se or folketinge.dk, and just read a few political documents so you understand the language a little bit better and you can speak more of the same language so that we communicate better, which is also what the bridge is about. Sorry. But let me also ask you back. <laughs> because you are a serial entrepreneur. Sounds almost like a serial killer, but it's the other way around. You've been given birth to so many different companies. You started them up very early. You've been head, uh, and, and, and many of them in the IT sector. And some of them have really taken off, and some of them have taken off quite well. Uh, so what is your main strategic advice to make sure that what we do here really takes off? Well, I think that the key to getting things to move forward, and that's what we need now, is to just take one step at a time. And, and I think that Alan Weeks, who spoke just a few times ago here, he said it very wisely that in this age where things are moving so fast, we can't really plan ahead. You know, we can't predict the results. And that can be a little bit scary when we come from science. And it's also actually a little bit scary for business. But change is going to be faster and faster. So we should not stress when we don't know exactly where we're going. We should just start collaborating and start talking to people because often the path shows itself. So we just need to take the first step. And that's also not nearly as scary. And it sounds an awful lot like the bridge. Very much like the bridge. So it's a good thing it's going to happen every year. Yes. <laughs> Well, now finally, during these two days, Tina and I, we've been given so much warm comments, so much warm swords, encouragement. Thank you ever so much. It means a lot. But, but there's also, there's a scale here. We've been doing the, the, the work for two days. Yeah, well, we haven't really done the hard work. No. It's, it's the presenters who've been here, it's the volunteers who've been here. But when we've been working two days, people are here to make sure that this happens. Yes. So I want the people who've been working with the conference to please be seated. Please come and be seated. Everyone who's been working with the conference and all the rest of us, please stand up. Come around so you can be seated. You know who you are. Go get seated and the rest of us stand up. And in particular, we can mention Invest in Skoda and Medicine Village. Go get seated. people here. Sound guy, be seated. <laughs> now we'll be out of power. This is what change looks like. Yep. Happy and smiling. Happy and smiling. For me, glad midsummer. Yeah, happy midsummer. Juan Harley, food setting. Thank you ever so much for this. See you at next year's The Bridge, I hope. I hope so. Take care. Thank you. Well, Stefan and I here we just wanted to finish with a very, very short story. Uh, I am Annette Orheim. I'm the communications director here at Medicon Village. I'm part of the project, fantastic project team with all of these fantastic people. And actually, the bridge has two uh, birthplaces. It was born and in the Medical Village Advisory Board, and it was at the same time born at Invest in Skåne. And we kind of found each other and got married. Wow. 
And, and then we had this great family of all of these people, some of them involved already before we got married, of course, but they were all involved, great minds. But then, um, Stefan will, will present himself later, so he would just give a short presentation as well. Then we decided to adopt a few persons, and we decided, well, was it a year ago, Stefan, we decided to adopt Jasmine and Anna? Yeah. So we decided to adopt some very creative and helpful children that has worked for us. Child labor, you know, really. <laughs> very, very creative and very professional children. But we adopted uh, Jasmine and Anna and also their colleagues at Altitude Meetings. And they have done such a fantastic work and to make all of this happen. Uh, and Stefan, you will talk very shortly about that as well. So, of course, organizing an event like this is a lot of effort and a lot of uh, energy that has been put into this. We are very, very happy uh, that Jasmine and Anna has worked so hard and helped us so much to create all uh, the atmosphere and all the speakers, etc. And we are, of course, very thankful for all people that came here from different parts of the world, all the nice speeches, all the inspirations we have gotten. But we would like Anna and uh, Jasmine to come up to the stage, please. Thank you both so much and we're looking forward to coming back next year aren't we yes, so that was the idea and now finally I have a small story to tell you there were two atoms out in the air and they bumped into each other so after this small collision one of the atoms said to the other I think I lost an electron and the other atom said are you really sure Yes, I'm positive. <laughs> so that's how it works. In the Thank you very much. See you next year. And uh, if anyone, can I have some power? If anyone had any sessions that they missed out on in the last few days, then over the coming weeks, they'll be put onto the Bridge Facebook page. So if you go to Facebook and search for the Bridge Conference, you will be finding the material for all of the closed session and for all the stuff that happened here as it becomes available. Thank you very much. Happy Midsummer. Thank Thanks, of course, very, very much for Tine and Matthias, uh, who has guided us through the conference. Thank you. Thank See you, you next year. Thank you.